So have you ever found yourself in a situation on the golf course where the shot in front of you is demanding that you play a certain shape of shot? If you're a player that struggles to shape the ball or is not sure how to shape the ball, then this video is going to be for you. In today's lesson, I'm going to cover a simple formula that you can use in practice and on the golf course to create the desired shape of shot. So let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel guys, I'm Danny Malcolm here at the beautiful Western Australian Golf Club here in Perth, Western Australia. Before I get into today's lesson, please like and subscribe to the channel by clicking the button below. Lots more great content to come, but let's get straight into it. So shot shaping, now when do we need to play a certain shape of shot, whether it be right to left, whether it be left to right? Well, think on the golf course, maybe off a, off a tee shot, you might have trouble on one side of the fairway, and as such, you might want to shape the ball away from that trouble. You might have a dog leg hole where you've got to shape the ball perhaps right to left to, to get around a corner. Or into the greens where a flag's perhaps tucked away, and you need to curve it into the, the bigger area of the green uh, to suit your shot dispersion. So you may go for that bigger area of the green. You may also be shaping the ball away from trouble, a water hazard, or a bunker, or as not to short side yourself. So, of course, another way you'd be shot shaping is when we're in the trees. Now, that happens to the best of us, and uh, sometimes being in the trees is actually a bit more helpful in the fact that it demands, and it's telling you you've got to play a certain shape of shot. So, if you're in that situation, today's lesson is absolutely going to help a simple formula to help you shape the ball the desired amount. So. Let's get into it. Firstly, just to note that if you are trying to shape the ball, then a higher lofted club, your eight, nine, pitch and wedge, those sort of irons, are going to curve less due to the amount of loft and backspin that's going to be created. Your straighter face clubs, like a, a short, uh, sorry, a mid to longer iron, or even your woods, with being a straighter face and less loft, you're going to be able to create more curvature. Also, when you're coming out of the rough, for example, out of that uh, heavy thick line in the rough just to note again the amount of grass that you get trapped between club and ball it's going to affect the amount of spin you can create and therefore the amount of curvature so just to understand that i think it's a great place to start so when it comes to shot shaping what are the two things that we're really trying to control well they are your club path so the path that your club is moving in through impact whether that be pretty neutral whether it be to the right or whether it be to the left but also your club face so club face is, is always king so wherever that's pointing at the moment of impact is generally going to dictate where the ball starts so having control of that is king but then also the direction that you swing the club will then dictate the amount of curvature you have on the ball so let's get straight into the formula so firstly how much curvature are you looking to create on this shot so I'm here at the, the stunning driving range here at the Western Australian Golf Club. And in the background, you can see the beautiful Perth skyline, the two buildings there. Now, just for ease of, uh, of alignment for you guys, I'm going to have that as my target. And of course, I'm not trying to hit a six iron that far. That's a few miles away. So, uh, but as a target, that's my end, end target where I want the ball to finish. So let's say I'm trying to hit a right to left shot to start with. Well, Firstly, how much curvature do I want? Well, I'm going to look at the trees just to the right of that building, and I want to curve the ball from there uh, to the buildings. So simple formula, here we go. Firstly, where do you want the ball to start? How much curve do you want? That's going to be where you aim the club face. So I'm going to be aiming my club face basically at that tree on the right-hand side here. The formula is now double that. So aim your club face where you want the ball to start and double now where you swing the club. So when we double that, we're also going to, so if I point this stick here to the tree, the same distance to the right of that initial tree, that's where I'm going to align my feet, knees, hips and shoulders in the hope that I can swing the ball pretty much on that direction with where my feet and shoulders are aiming. But with my club face at impact, aiming at the first tree. 
So I'm aiming at the first tree, I'm swinging towards the second tree, and if all goes well, assuming, of course, a sentence of strike, then that's going to create the perfect amount of right to left curvature to get the ball to finish where those buildings are. So let's give that a go. So firstly, I'm going to set the club face up at the right, first right tree. Then I'm going to align my feet, hips, shoulders towards the tree on the right hand side, the furthest right tree. And then I'm going to try and swing towards that second tree on the right with my club face hopefully aiming somewhere close to that initial tree. Let's give it a go. Didn't quite get the curvature on that one there. And just to note as well, so I must have had the club face a little bit aiming right of where I intended. Now just to note as, as players, we will often have a shot shape that we find easier. Uh, for me, a fade is, is the pattern that I generally hit, so more of a left to right curvature. So when I try and play a draw shot, I find that a little bit more difficult without practice. So this isn't a shot that I'm going to attempt in a competition without having practiced it before. And that's just something I want to stress that before you go and attempt a certain shot shape on the golf course, in your club championships or in a competition, be sure to have experimented with that on the driving range first. So let the driving range be your, be your lab. Think of the, the, the lab, the science lab in high school. Let the driving range be that for you where you can experiment with certain shot shapes. But that's how you would play the right to left shape. Now for me, this left to right is gonna be easier I'm going to do the same formula, but just reverse it. So same end results. I want to go towards those to finish on the buildings there in the Perth skyline. So I'm going to aim my club face. I want it to move from the left hand tree at the back of the range. And I want it to curve maybe about 15 meters there back onto the target. So if I aim my club face at that tree at the back of the range, and then I'm going to aim my feet, knees, hips and shoulders, double that. So towards the tree here on the left hand side, about 100 meters away. And hopefully, I should find this one a little bit easier. It's the same, same swing, but I've just altered my setup and club face. And that's actually the perfect amount of curvature, perfectly back onto those buildings there. Now, now that's the shape I find much easier and I can play that with confidence during a competition. So the other shot, I would need to practice a bit more. But that there is a very simple formula that you can use when you're practicing. But like I said, be sure to practice that before you go and use that in, in a competition. One thing you can do when you're practicing on a range as well is just to pop an alignment stick out about three meters in front of you in line with your finishing target. So here I'm gonna take the alignment stick and put that in line with those buildings there. And when you're practicing shot shaping, now you may have seen the tall players on the TV do something similar. What they're working on here is, is starting direction. So they're trying to start the ball, manage their club face and get the ball starting either right of the, the target, intended target or left of the intended target, depending on the shape they're trying to produce. Now you can just imagine that this is a tree and you're stuck behind the tree and you've got to shape this thing around it. So again, we're gonna try the, the right to left. So I'm gonna aim my club face a little to the right of that target but I'm gonna aim my feet double that. So let's just see if I can start the ball right this time. A couple of rehearsals here to get the feeling of what I'm trying to do. Got a little bit of curvature that time. But again, that's the shot that I find a little bit more difficult. But the other side, much easier. So if I'm gonna curve this around the tree from left to right, this won't be a problem. So I'm used to this and I'm used to being in the trees. So we're gonna aim the club face slightly left of the target we're going to double the distance with our feet hips and shoulders and we're going to swing left and a beautiful fade around the tree there so i hope that helps and if you have any questions whatsoever please post them below and thank thank you again for watching